are almost to Galveston and we got some wet, rainy weather. What do you think, honey? It's nasty out. You know what? It ain't gonna affect me in fishing. Yeah, me either. <laughs> we are at Schmitty's Bait House. Schmitty's Bait House. Now hiring non stupid people. Awesome. I'm out of kitty. Okay, the people here at Smitty's are the lit, dude. They set me up, dude. They set me up with some good stuff. I'm glad I left my leaders at home because uh, now we got the right stuff to catch reds, bro. I'm glad I left myself because I would have been out there fishing with that stuff thinking, yeah. what's going on? So the beach side was so windy. We are over on the bay side and then there's like this part of the bay right here too and i'm gonna i got the little rod out and i'm gonna throw this piece of finger mullet out there and just see if i can grab anything out of this little thing real quick i will definitely be letting you know if i catch something <laughs> so i think there's a bunch of pinfish or crabs or something out there getting our stuff so we're gonna try some other spots this is our first spot to try we got a long way to go this is day one of what five days here so we are going to move on to spot number two it's still raining but not as bad it's windy but it's not cold and it's not super windy so anyway see you guys later i'll let y'all know what happens well somebody caught something it's the catfish queen again of course I caught a catfish. she caught a catfish while we're out on an island okay i didn't even feel him on there i'm just reeling in my bait. Nice. Be he's careful. About the same size. Be as careful my with him because I'm not for nice, sure if he's the, the poisonous kind. So let's take care of that real quick. Hang on. Can I put my, oh, he got big old teeth. I ain't putting my nice. hand in his mouth. Here, let me go get you there. <laughs> Bro, Jimmy Ray got a toadfish too. What? Okay, so the fishing pro finally did catch something. This is his second toadfish. He's got a little bit of blood in his mouth, but look at those teeth. Gnarly teeth, dude. He is a gnarly looking nasty thing. My cousin, my cousin in Florida said that in Florida they get huge and people eat them. So we're here at Jamaica Beach in Galveston, on Galveston Island. I don't know if you can see back there. Oh look, there's the catfish queen. What's up? Let's go. Hopefully I hook onto something big today. I want to hook onto something big. I, need, I don't even care if it's big. I just want a new species, dude. Species. I like to get some different species. So I'm putting this phone up because I'm going to wait out there. So see y'all later. And uh, stay tuned and I'll let you know what happens. Well, Julie went out and threw her own stuff, but she took her phone with her. Oh, it didn't get wet? Alright, so 
We are surf fishing now. You want a thing to stick in the ground? That's why I said throw to the left. Because when I ride through to the left, the wind kind of carried it to the right. Hang on a second, let me get you one. Well, Jimmy Ray Stanfield here is going to try some squid out there. Come on, baby. There he is. Oh, you got it? out here on the beach uh, still fishing I didn't catch anything that I planned on catching there's Julie hi Julie I didn't catch anything that I was planning on catching but I did catch two new species I caught the oyster toadfish yesterday and then today I caught the gaff top catfish which is a, both of those fish are venomous not poisonous venomous right honey yeah, so anyway, uh, you don't want to get, ooh, just watching my rod tip. Anyway, uh, I really want to catch a, a red drum or a black drum or I'd even go for a speckled trout or something. But anyway, I mean, my hook's probably a bit too big for a speckled trout. I got a big old huge hook on there. So uh, we'll see what happens and I'll keep y'all informed and we're going to keep on fishing. This is only day one, really. Yesterday we got here, but today is like day one of actual, like really getting into the fishing thing. So yesterday we were just kind of playing around and caught stuff. So who knows? Maybe, maybe we'll catch something huge. I wouldn't mind catching a little shark or something. Anyway, my, my rod's bouncing around. I'm gonna get off of here. So I'll talk to y'all later. Stay tuned.
So day one was epic. I didn't catch anything I really wanted to catch, but I did catch a couple gaff top venomous catfish. The cat and I caught nothing. She didn't catch anything, but the day before she caught that uh, little baby hardhead, little hardhead cat. Fish. That was pretty cool. And today we are on the ferry, and we are headed over to Port Bolivar, and. She's gonna do some shelling and fishing, and I'm probably just gonna do some fishing. But maybe I'll catch something cool today, and I'll let y'all know. This is where we're at. What are you doing? Watching for dolphins. Oh, let's see if we can see a dolphin. It feels amazing out here today. It really feels good out here today. Let's see my sunburnt face from yesterday. From looking up at that big pole. Looking up. Keep looking up, guys. <laughs> so we have made it to, I don't know what the locals call it, Gilchrist or Gilchrist. Uh, we're on Port Bolivar Peninsula. Julie is going to do some shelling and fishing. I don't know if she's going to start fishing right away or not or what, but I'm about to bait up and get some bait out there in the water and see if I can snag me a fish. I can get a hookup. I'll let y'all know if I do. Okay. Y'all have a great day. We are still fishing. She's moving down the way down there. Just walk way out there and cast it out. She got a bunch of hits here. I haven't got many. So, me and Julie got skunked today on the surf fishing. So, we decided, I haven't been skunked since we've been here, three days in a row, or we've been here three days, I caught two days in a row, so this is our third day. I'm not getting skunked today. Julie caught a fish. Uh, Julie caught a fish on uh, the first day. She didn't catch nothing yesterday, so it's her turn. She needs to catch it's something. So, we're back out here at the canal, and we're gonna, to get me a toadfish. She's gonna at least catch a toadfish on this little setup I got going here. So we'll see how it goes. Here we go. This is what it looks like out here at the canal, dude. It's beautiful. Look at this. Amazing, dude. It is like amazing out here. Oh, look at it. She caught something. Look, she caught a little snagged tiny. It. She snagged a little tiny oh, baby flathead. Look at how tiny he is. Oh. I don't care. His brother kind of fend me a little bit while ago. How'd you snag Micro that? Be fishing. careful. Oh, he just got stalked, apparently. Way to go. Hey, you got one at least. Jeez, That's rocking. So hey, you didn't get skunked today, honey. Hang on. Let's get a. Let's get the pliers. You didn't get skunked. Let's see it. <laughs> he snagged him in his side. That's He's funny. Smaller than uh, hey, at least you caught one. Check it out. She got another one. Oh, oh that one's a good size one. Man, this thing is full of catfish, dude. But so it wasn't what we wanted. And we surf fished all day. But we both caught fish today. So today is day three in, on Galveston Island. And... Uh, I have actually caught fish all three days, or I caught fish even the first day. This is our fourth day, but our third full day. Um, Sunday, I actually even caught fish. So I caught fish Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. And then today is the fourth day, third whole day, fourth day. I'm going out to a different spot. I'm going to East Beach. We were talking about it yesterday on the, the video. Um, we're gonna go out to East Beach. I don't know if we want to pay to go out on a uh, 
fishing pier or not. We haven't decided for sure. We may save that for tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our last day of full fishing day. We leave on Friday. So anyway, we're gonna go out to East Beach. I'm waiting for Julie. She's up there at the Airbnb grabbing something she forgot. But uh, anyway, so we're gonna go out to East Beach and we're gonna, we're gonna throw some lures and we're throwing some uh, big bucktail spoons. I mean, big bucktail jigs. And I may end up tying on like a gold spoon or something like that, because I know those work really good in salt water. And I may try some other kind of jigs and stuff. I don't know. I even have some uh, salt water crankbaits and stuff that I may try. I don't know what we'll do, but anyway, we're gonna go down there and try with our smaller rods and we cleaned up back there quite a bit. So our rods are right there, two surf rods or other, like we used to call them surf rods, those little, they're not little, but they're not like real surf rods. So anyway, I will talk to you later. Okay, so now we made it to East Beach. It's pretty cool looking out here. We're gonna throw something kind of crazy that we've never thrown before. Big bucktail jigs. <laughs> We're gonna try it from this jetty out here and see what's up. Say good morning. Good morning. It's almost afternoon though. Don't act like we're out here at the crack of dawn. It is the crack of dawn. What are you talking about? It is morning. It is still morning. It's like 11. Now. No, it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. We're already out here. We got a late start. I'll show you this jetty. The jetty is like freaking lit, dude. Unless it's underwater, dude. Oh, it's right here in passing. Oh, look. Here we go. It's lit, right? You get some? You get some? I got four. Heck yeah. Free bait. Free bait, baby. Look at that. With my cast net. Well, I got four baby fish and one live shrimp. Pretty cool. I mean, only my second time to ever use my fat cast net. I'm gonna cast it down here a couple more times and we'll see. But we're about to go throw this in the water, see if we can catch a big old fish on it. Yeah. Let's do it. Well, I finally caught some stuff with my cast net. Heck yeah, baby. I caught some little, it looks like pin fish or something, little, little baby ones, and then uh, caught like, what, three or four shrimp, yeah. something like that. So, I mean, it's not the greatest, but I'm learning this cast net thing, but at least I got some free bait. Man, these, I'm bait for these mosquitoes, dude. They're killing me over here, bro. Oh, Jesus, the mosquitoes are like freaking huge here. Oh my God, look. Oh, as you can see him, he's on my hand. Go out. God, they won't go out. They get inside and they, I think they like the cool air. I don't know, but. Anyway, so we caught some bait fish and I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna cast net a couple more times and we're gonna go down here and try to see if we can throw out and see if we can catch something on our surf rods. Let's just do the surf rods. Yeah. It'll be easier. Let's do it. Listen, knock it out. Okay. So Julie had a great idea. We ended up coming down here to this spot right here where we're at. And we actually have the top open up there and we are sitting in the shade not getting burnt. Hey, it is yeah. sunny today. And this guy over here next door here, where is he right there? That guy? Uh, I caught some shrimp and some little, looked like a little pinfish, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, did. And quite a few little shrimp. And then, uh, this guy over here, he caught two big old mullets and he gave them to me, which was pretty cool. So we cut them babies said up. They and caught about 10 of them. He said, dude, they were huge, dude. Like bigger than the finger yeah. mullets that we bought. Yeah. But he gave us two big ones, like probably like 10 or 12 inches long, each one of them. And uh, since Julie picked this spot, we got our finger mullet out there. We'll see what happens out here. That was regular dog mullet. Maybe. The little ones, right? Probably. These are big. They are huge mullets. But that was pretty cool that the guy back there gave them to us, so. Uh, we'll see what happens with them. I'm hoping to see. Julie came up with a Julie came up with a new saying. If it ain't if it didn't bend, it's just the wind. <laughs> I said, hey, I might be getting hit. She said, if it don't bend, it's just the wind. Right. So I guess that's true. I think that's a good motto. 
that's a good motto. Let's go with it. All right, peace. We'll let you know if we catch anything or not. Well, today we did not catch anything, and I think I am sunburnt, tired, and I'm not going to do any more fishing today, but we will be fishing again tomorrow, so stay tuned. Maybe we'll catch something big. Well, it's like 7.30 in the morning, and this is our last full day of fishing, which we probably won't be fishing all day. We're out here, we're going to fish for a couple hours, and we're hoping this Julie back there actually catches something cool. She hasn't caught anything on her surf rod yet. I know she's wanting to, so. Found some cool shells there. Kind of cool. Oh yeah, that's cool. Shells have been crab leg. Crab leg. I don't know what this is. It's cool looking. Yeah, it is cool looking. The shells have been like, like not very many around here compared to what they usually are. Go to when we went to Port Bolivar, she said there was a bunch of shells over there. But she's she's picky now. You've taken me to too many great beaches. I have so many awesome shells now. Very picky because Florida shells are like insanely cool. So when you come out here, the shells aren't as cool as Florida. But uh, anyway, so this is our last full day of fishing, and we're probably not going to be fishing all day. But we're going to fish for a couple hours here this morning, and hopefully, Julie gets her something really cool. I really wish she catch a something red. Something bigger than yeah. that. Too. She caught three catfish though, three hard hits while we've been Babies. here. Babies. Pretty small. I mean, one of them wasn't too bad, but. Uh, hopefully she will catch something really cool. I don't even care if she catches something that is on my bucket list of fish to catch. A red or a black I drum or... I don't care what, I don't care what it is, dude. I want her to catch something. I wouldn't even... I don't know why. Yeah, I would, I'd be happy if she caught one of them gaff top cells. I mean, really, because that way at least she can put a new species on her list. This may be close to the end of this video, this trip, but uh, stay tuned. Maybe we'll catch something really big right at the end. You never know. Never know. We'll talk to y'all later. Well, I thought she had one, but she didn't. But she's going way out there. She went way out there and cast it over that crest of waves behind her. She's doing good. Kicking butt, but we ain't catching no fish. Anyway, I hope this video doesn't end on a sour note where we don't catch something big today because it's our last day of fishing, so we'll see how it goes. Here she comes. I saw it. You're awesome. You're getting good. Now catch a fish and then you'll be awesome, really awesome. Oh yeah, make sure you set your drag. Don't want to forget that. Way to go. So this is probably one of the last places we'll fish. We fish surf all day today for like four or five hours. And now we're in the bay. It was ridiculous. The current was carrying our stuff, even with Sputnik. Uh, sinkers on there dug into the sand but still the current was so incredibly strong that it just you could cast in front of you and it ended up way down the beach on the right like almost on the beach so i got tired of messing with it we came over here we're throwing some shrimp out on the bay side and there's a lake behind it's called horseshoe lake back there uh i threw over there but i got some hits over here but i didn't get any hits over there so this may be the end of the video or maybe not and uh i really appreciate y'all sticking around and watching but uh julie caught three hard heads and uh i caught one hard head two gaff top cell catfish and a uh oyster toadfish and jimmy ray caught an oyster toadfish and uh so anyway we're gonna hit it here and it, what? Oh yeah, Jimmy Ray caught three oyster toad fish, and uh, pretty much everything we caught was venomous. <laughs> we didn't catch anything that I really, what I really, well, I came out here saying I was going to catch three new species, and I did. 
So that was pretty cool. But I did want to catch a red or a black drum or something, you know, a, a speckled trout, something cool, you know, I don't know. But I didn't catch any of that, but we're not done yet. And this is probably the last, oh, I just got a hit right there while I'm talking. See, I'm sitting here holding my rod. Anyway, um, so we're gonna keep on fishing a little bit longer. And if y'all stay around this long, might as well stay till the very, very end. And I appreciate y'all watching and hopefully uh, we'll catch something more, at least one more fish before the end of this video. And, uh, but if not, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned with Big T Fishing Adventures and say hi to Julie. So we'll see what happens. All right, this is where we're at right now. We're on Port Bolivar Peninsula right now, fishing the bay. We're across the way from Galveston. Okay, see you later. Julie got a crab, like a big crab. Oh, here you go, y'all pick him up with this? Yeah. Yeah, give him that. Hey, at least somebody caught something. Hey, can I log that on fish brand? Yeah, it's probably, a, it looks like a big blue crab. Here, you want me to pick him up? I'll pick him up. Dude, he's gonna pinch you. Look. Look how he's, he's strong. He deserves that. Here, video this. Nah, I'm getting eight up, dude. Here, video this. Oh. You're about to get in. Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not on it. Yeah. I'm gonna grab both of his pinchers. From the back? He can get you with his other ones. Which one? Don't they have other pinchers? Or are they all just flippers? Check it. Oh. Look at his, look inside of his face. He is mad. Yeah, let me hold him. He is I'm gonna go pissed. Here, take it over there. He's alive, so better hold on. See, don't put, how dare you put your finger in there. Stop. He's getting mad. Ow, I'm getting beat up. Is that ball in my seat? He's big. Hey, at least somebody caught something. Hey, I Damn. caught something. Way to go, something. Julie. <laughs> big D yeah. Fishing Adventures. I can't believe you caught a crab. Hey, hey it's at least it's something I, you've got to catch. I saw it on there when I was reeling in, I could tell it Wait. was something small. I want you to hold it. I you could tell know. it was something small? You thought it was a fish or what? I didn't know what it was. I thought it was kind of caught on something. Damn, but, uh, these are ridiculous. What? But uh, as soon as I saw him, I got him up here real quick. Because remember last time, I, I've gotten the crabs a couple times, so I never got them on, the, on land. They always fall off before. Yeah, dude, they let go. Uh, okay, you hold him. Bro, got me another cat. Another gaff top set. You are the catfish king. The catfish king. You are. I don't even want to be the catfish king, though, <laughs> unless I'm catching some Whatever, blue, still blue cool. cat. Hey, hey they least... sat them at Katie's Seafood. People eat that stuff, so. Yeah, they sell these, but I ain't trying to mess with them. Whatever, like they're, they're still cool. Cats are still a sea cat. Yeah, I know. They're venomous and they're kind of a pain in the butt. Me and Jimmy one Ray would have loved to have both caught a catfish. This one got hooked three. in the tongue, which was kind of a pain. Okay. Are you for your picture? Yeah. Oh, look at that. What you got? Some mullet? Some mullet, baby. Nice. Oh, four of them. Perfect. That's, that's fire right there. Yes. Hey, Daddy's out here catching some mullet for our next fishing adventure after we go yeah, eat breakfast. Baby. I get some water for them, but check it out. Four pretty good sized mullet. Look at that. Nice. And then we'll get some shrimp and we'll be good. The, when you get the aerator. All right. He got about two dozen shrimp, a little fish, and there's a crab down in there too. And he got four mullet. Four mullet. We don't need no bait One shop. Cast. One cast. That's awesome. Little hardhead. This place is full of them things. I huh? always catch these little hardhead down They're here. They're cute though. They're tiny, tiny. Look how pink his tail is. I know it. They're cute. Hey, it's another fish. Hey, it's a fish. Bet. Take what we can get. It's our I'll take last what I can get at this trip. point. <laughs> All right. Check this out. I caught a black drum. Yes. Woo! caught a black drum. Yay. How cool is that? That's cool. cool. Right? Four species on this trip. That's, That's awesome. So cool. 
I wish mama would have caught it, but whatever. That's pretty we cool. Catch it. He's cool. That's fire, right? Yes. Listen. Hurry, we gotta get the picture. He was drumming. Okay. Picture time. So we just got back from Galveston. It's the next morning. Traffic was terrible, but we had a great time. It was awesome. It was cool. And we had good company and good food. Yeah. And we all caught fish. I caught four new species. Julie caught two new two. species. Jim Ray caught one. Jim Ray caught one new species. So everybody caught fish. We had fun. Thank you for watching Big D Fishing Adventures and wait for our next adventure. <laughs> Bye.